So we're cruising along looking for a spot and we see dolphins. Oh, they just jumped. boat for Jonathan's 21st birthday and Eric is enjoying it too. Yes, very much so. <laughs> it's been a blast today. Yeah, it's been a whole sure. lot of fun. So far we've seen blue angels, we've seen dolphins and hermit crabs. I never thought I'd see hermit crabs. Unless they have a different name, they didn't have a big pincher like a hermit crab. Yeah. But I feel like a pirate today because we banked up on this little island and Jonathan is really wanting to walk to the other side. And what's the island's name, Angel? I think, I don't know, it's Fort McRae. Perdido Key. Oh. But this is also a part of the uh, Gulf Islands National sh uh, Seashore. If this is your first vlog to watch, we're in Florida at Fort Pickens, south of Pensacola. So thank you for tuning in. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Back when we went to White Sands National Monument. Yeah. That was like so our humid. fifth vlog that we ever did. And we went with Jonathan. That was a pretty good time. Before Ooh. it was a national park. Now it's a national park. Oh, you can see the ocean. So that island over there, that's Fort Pickens, that's where we're camping at. That's part of the National Seashore, but this is a big channel that we uh, took the boat across. We actually rented our boat and Gulf Breeze. Well, Kelly and Erica went ahead and went back, so we're gonna go see what they're up to. But we've enjoyed this day on the boat, and it has been great, and I think we're just gonna go back, port, and figure out what we're gonna do, because we're kind of teetering between Kelly cooking shrimp and grits. I was gonna make shrimp and grits, or we can't, we don't know if we wanna go out to eat, or what, we have no idea. Kind of like right there with y'all, like, Kelly shrimp and grits, oh my gosh, that is like the best shrimp and grits I've ever had. I don't know. I guess we have time <laughs> to think about it. Well, we'll see y'all back at camp. As you can tell, back at camp, we're clean and we're getting ready to go out because we decided we Birthday go boy out. decided he wanted to go out. Actually, it was birthday boy. We had nothing to do with this. So he decided that we're going to go out and we're going to go to a place that we've only had breakfast at before. And does she not look pretty? Do, do your thingy that you do, babe. Aww. And I'm wearing the same clothes I wore out to the wine bar the other night. Well, I don't have many nice short sleeves and shirts and stuff, but it's a little wrinkled because if you don't know, this is our closet. Roll all our uh, clothing up and that's it right there. Y'all might not believe this, but last year we didn't experience any heat like this. We spent the majority of our time in temperatures oh, that yeah. were cooler. So I was wearing blue jeans and dress or my boots right here that I got. Got my own little box for that because I like boots. But we were wearing that mostly because it was chilly everywhere we were last year, including during summer because we were in Montana and Idaho and Utah and all that jazz. I haven't got to wear any of my cute going out summer clothes at all. I'm excited. I like to dress up. She looks real pretty know. when she dresses up. If you didn't know, I love to dress up. Well, we love George's and it's going to be delicious. I hope, like I said a minute ago, all we've had is lattes and breakfast dishes and it has been some of the most amazing 
lattes and breakfast dishes we've ever had. And once again, I think he's coming. Is he coming? No, that's a GMC, but we're just waiting on our <laughs> on our uh, shuttle. Wait, wait, chauffeur, Jonathan, the chauffeur. Bistro last night, hands down one of the best restaurants in Pensacola, wouldn't you have to say? Yes, so good. I've never had a true lobster roll, I think. That was pretty darn good. Yeah, oh my god, that was amazing. I had, oh, almost forgot. I had a chicken alfredo, but it was so different. There was a white truffle oil in it, had fresh mushrooms. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I'm, I've never had a alfredo like that before i mean oh my gosh i think it had some green onions well amazing. jonathan got the same dish that i got and erica got the same <laughs> dish that kelly got she just had salmon salmon and hers i had chicken and kelly had chicken oh it was good I'm making breakfast hash uh, i don't have any jalapenos they didn't look too good at the store so i'm not going to add that in it uh, i'm going to do something a little different i'm going to do some mushrooms and got an orange bell pepper but it doesn't look too good either so i'm gonna cut into it and see what it looks like so we've gone out to eat twice and we were gonna cook earlier on but some of our vegetables that we got or things to cook with are starting to go bad and if you're wondering where jonathan and erica are at they have their own camping spot down a ways because i think you can only have one vehicle at, at each camping spot yeah you can only have one vehicle and then you have to park it overflow parking so that just doesn't really work out so we didn't want them to have to walk or us have our vehicle and we had to walk all the way to our vehicle and back so we just got two spots and we tried to get next to each other but everything was booked we got some bacon done we got the potatoes in the skillet and i think kelly's gonna crumble the bacon and put it on the potatoes and that's my job right now i just put those in there the potatoes uh yeah we're not quite ready for the bacon yet but that is the plan with the bacon so in the refrigerator some of our stuff you can tell is starting to well this wasn't in the fridge though that wasn't it's just starting to turn so does the rest of it look pretty good? Yeah, once I cut it, it's okay. Breakfast is ready and it took forever. That's why I don't really do hash is because it just takes so long. But last thing I need to do is put some cheese. I'm gonna use some mozzarella. And then I'm just gonna cover it and let it melt. We'll just crumble the bacon on top, how about that? That sounds good. I'd buy that for a dollar. And I'll just reuse the bacon plate. We haven't showed y'all our new fan, but we picked this up at Lowe's the other day. This little sucker. It can put out some air. Y'all ready? See this? Watch, watch the canopy over there. Right there. Here we go. All from this little thing. And what's crazy is it actually starts pulling air from this corner and creates a draft in here because there is no wind right now and it feels really nice. So when we first got here at the beginning of the week, it was very nice, very breezy. There's less humidity. Every day you can feel the humidity like creeping in. So I'm really happy that we have the fan. We came prepared because we did not even know it was gonna be nice the first part of the week like it was, which I'm very happy it was. All right, this is what we got in here. Potatoes, eggs, orange bell pepper, mushroom. Why am I putting it like there like a side dish? <laughs> like she was saying with the weather, we're checking the weather months in advance because on AccuWeather you can kind of get a prediction. Give you gives you some kind of idea. And she looked at it for probably weeks and weeks and weeks and it kept saying it was gonna be 
highs like 90 but feel like 103 and then lows like 74 75 which that usually means it's going to be 74 75 around 3 a.m or 4 a.m in the morning yeah. so you're probably going to be going to bed with 80 degrees and we can't handle that kind of heat <laughs> in bed like I, I can handle that kind of heat all day long but whenever it comes to sleeping i don't want to sweat as i'm sleeping oh no that's just actually you don't sleep you just sweat we've been there we've done that so this little thing we're keeping it and it fits in the trailer perfect we've probably run it off of our power bank that we have ready yes breakfast was phenomenal was y'all's breakfast good oh yeah oh, yeah. Breakfast hash. Breakfast. i had hash too everybody had a hash hash all the way around but our chauffeur has arrived. It's chauffeur, right? Or chauffeur. chauffeur? Chauffeur. And we decided we're going to be chilling at the beach again because we only have a few more days left. And we like the beach. We're at the beach and it's weird. Kelly and I took a trip to Isla Mujeres once a long, long time ago. And the water was real calm on the northern part. This is the calmest we've ever seen. This water. And here's something else really cool. There's a dolphin up over here. Right there. I'm kind of digging this calm water though. This is wild. Look how clear that is. Well, anywho, how epic has this trip been so far? This has been awesome. This has been one of the best trips I've ever had, for sure. I'm just loving how calm this water is. It's really nice. It reminds me of Mexico. It does remind me of Mexico right now. See, every time we've ever been here, it's been, well, like you've seen it in the vlog so far. This is nice. Oh yeah, I found that big shell with my feet. Wow. It's pretty. So Eric is actually, her dream is to swim with the dolphins on this trip and she is trying really hard. I think, I think she'll be able to get it. I think she'll be able to get the dolphins. She's got good energy. Yeah. I think she'll get them in. Summon the dolphins <laughs> to her. I really love Florida. I do too. I mean, Jonathan didn't think he would like it as much as going out west to like the Rockies or, you know, New Mexico, Wyoming, Montana, but uh, this is on up there. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same concept. Uh, my first trip going out west, y'all recommended going to White Sands. I was like, I don't want to go there. Like, it's just a bunch of sand and desert. I didn't think it'd be much of anything, <laughs> and which it was. But it was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had as a trip. And so this is kind of the same thing. I was like, oh, I mean, it's a beach. I mean, but. I never expected the water to be this blue or this enjoyable. It's pretty cool. And all the stuff there is to do, and we still have one more thing we're trying to do. Yeah. We can never get around to it. But if y'all ever want to see this first trip out west at White Sands when it was a national monument, I think that was like our fifth vlog. So you watch it, it's, it's you know, it's kind of rough to watch, but it was still a fun time. Went and picked up some goggles. I'm just gonna go goggling because I don't have a snorkel, so I'm just goggling. Are you gonna goggle with me? Yeah, I'll goggle with Let's you. Let's go goggle. So Jonathan actually saw a dolphin and a baby dolphin just like 10 feet behind his kayak earlier when he was kayaking out here. How far out did you go? Uh, I was almost to the other sandbar out there. I was, I was pretty close. Now I could see it from the boat. All right. Well, that's sandy. You yeah. wanna clean it? I just did. That's pretty cool. Oh. Here we go. We both got a, a change of plans right now. I think what we're gonna do is we try to get out to that second reef. Cause it's a lot churned up right here. You can't see much under the water. It's really peaceful out here. But I've been sitting here for probably 10 15 minutes and haven't seen any more of the fish schooling activity that the dolphins cause 
or any surfacing dolphins. I really want to get closer and check it out. I want to take a break, go up there, relax, try again later. It might be more active here in a little bit. I don't know why I'm putting those on to paddle back to the bank. We're back at camp. Good afternoon. It is time for dinner. We had another lovely day on the beach. It's just been an amazing place. We have had a great, I was gonna say it's been an amazing vacation, but it's not a vacation. It's us. been very <laughs> zen-like today. Yeah, it's I mean, been really great. Wow. Like I cannot believe we saw dolphins that close to the shore. Like that is crazy. And the we saw dolphins twice yesterday too. Tonight, Cody is preparing some shrimp. So this is a shrimp that we bought at Maria Seafood. And it's just going to be Cody and I tonight because Erica has something very special planned for Jonathan's birthday. So they are doing their little special thing tonight. And we're gonna be cooking shrimp and grits for ourselves. And I guess we're having a little, little romantic special evening. Yeah, we got a fan. <laughs> we have a fan, we have incense. We're having a great time. As soon as Cody gets done with the shrimp, I think you're done, you had two more, right? Uh, That's about half, once yeah, you take the half. shell off those. Let me yeah. do one more, for good, good sake, good okay. measure. Okay. Once he gets done doing that, then I can start. First thing I need to do for shrimp and grits is fry some bacon. After we fry some bacon, we're gonna do some, fry some corn and then we're gonna get some grits going and then we'll do the shrimp. So it's actually a pretty easy dish. And it's phenomenal. Yes, so good. Ah, so good. Better with this gold shrimp. Yes, uh, that's what another thing that we love about coming here this close to the gulf is that you know the fish is fresh. It is like fresh from the gulf. It's just so good, mm -hmm. especially the shrimp. You never know a shrimp because Gulf shrimp is the best, and sometimes it's very hard to find it in the grocery stores. Done. Yay. We got the old shrimp done, and Kelly is about to throw on the bacon that she was telling you all about. Yes, I'm gonna fry some bacon, and this is gonna be crumbled. I think I'm gonna do four slices. You might not know this, but this is one of the best dishes that she's ever made. No, this is really on up there. This is one of like, this is, I gotta get a paper towel. We got a little bit of a fly issue. We haven't had this issue the whole time we've been here. Protect that shrimp. But this is hands down one of the best, if not the best dish. I think this one will be in the cookbook, won't it, honey? Yeah, so this will be in the cookbook. Please try. Put it in the comments when you do try it and tell us how much you like it, because it's gonna be on up there. So everything in my refrigerator is freezing. I don't know if it's because I don't have that much stuff in there, but it is definitely freezing. And that's the uh, vegetable broth. Yeah. That's icy. Yeah, maybe it'll melt really quickly. I swear the smell like it's burning, but it's not. I need it crispy. Now we got some corn. This is the key to good shrimp and grits. Well, the corn goes in the grits, though. But yeah. It's kind of like when you eat crawfish. Y'all know when you eat crawfish, it's the corn with the seasoning on it that's the star. 
It really is. And the potatoes are pretty good too. And of course the crawfish, but there's something about that corn with that hot seasoning. Same is true for this. Corn pops with a little bit of sweetness. Mm. We're just gonna let it get golden. Meanwhile. She's still over here trying to get this stuff to melt. I might just have to cut the thing open. Can you cut it open? Yeah. I don't want to waste it. This is the good broth. It's a broth flushy. I do have more broth. I just didn't want to waste. So as of right now, I think we could hold ice cream in there. Oh, it would never work, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be for the grits. Now I am going to do two cups of each, but I always sometimes add a little bit more, just depending on the thickness of it. So I'm going to keep both of those out. And let's go over here. Now let's go ahead and put the corn on this plate. While we're waiting on the broth and the half and half, I'm going to dice up a shallot. Grits are going in, and then we're going to stir it, turn the heat down just a little bit, and we're going to let it get really thick. My grits are done. I'm going to throw in some butter in there, and some butter in here. Now this will be for the shrimp here. I'm going to just let this, the grits are basically done. So I'm letting the butter melt evenly. And then I also have some shredded cheese. This is a Colby Jack, but it has a little bit of like pepper in there. You've never done that before with a, a pepper style Colby Jack, Well, this is like the best quality pepper Jack I could find. So that's why I chose it. But I usually do, I mean Colby Jack. I usually do Colby Jack. As the butter is melting, I'm gonna chop some green onions. I almost forgot to add the corn and the grits. Oops, my bad. They were hidden behind some paper towels. Yeah, everything is covered with paper towels right now because of the flies. Having this little fan is helping out quite a bit. It's helping, it is. Okay, I'm gonna throw in my shallot. This is in the butter. And I've got some green onions, some scallions. All right, now we're gonna cook the shrimp in here with the onion. I'm gonna put some seasoning on there. Next is some Cajun seasoning, but we don't have any. I thought that we did. So we're gonna use this blackened seasoning. See, that's what I like about Kelly. Adapt, overcome. I really thought we had Cajun seasoning though. I mean, I would have bought some. I don't know what I was thinking. Shrimp is almost done, or it's done. Now we're gonna add some heavy cream. So depending on how thick you want your sauce, or how much sauce you want, how much or how little, it's depending on how much heavy cream you put. So I'm gonna start out with this here, and we're just gonna boil it, or low, low uh, a low boil the simmer yeah well not really i guess the simmer and we're gonna let it get thick and then i have extra if i need to add extra last but not least we're gonna put the bacon in here and i think we're just about ready to eat smells so good i cannot wait grits are still warm and i did not need to add any extra liquids to the grits oh yeah those turned out good so we have plenty of shrimp left and grits for seconds. You know Yum. it. Make some forks. Look at that beautiful thing right there. Oh, oh, oh. So I do realize that none of my presentations on my food are that great. <laughs> They're real. They're raw. That's yeah, what it I is. mean that's just that's how it is. Kelly, I think it's all there with the, with the blackened seasoning still. Mm-hmm. 
so hot. That shrimp, I can taste the gulf. I can taste the gulf in it. Mm. Well, we're gonna enjoy this here. We still have a few more days with Jonathan and Erica, but we will catch you on the other. See you guys next time.